We have briefly introduced Rama imaging technique, but only touched the surface of real-life applications. This time, we will discuss some more practical aspects of Rama imaging. The most popular applications of Rama imaging are material characterization and drug analysis. In material science, a Raman microscope can provide information which TEM, SEM, and AFM cannot. Therefore, Raman spectroscopy is used to characterize polymers, catalysts, and all kinds of carbon compounds, mainly involving carbon nanotubes and graphene. In pharmaceutical industry, both development and quality control of the drugs are the focus of Raman microscopy. The study of polymorphism is particularly important as it is causally linked to drug formulation stability and safety. But is that all? Of course not. Raman microscopy in theory works for any sample that has Raman signal. However, today the application of Raman imaging is mainly limited by the speed. By now, we all know that Raman scattering is a weak process. As a result, Raman imaging is much slower than other imaging techniques like, for instance, fluorescence microscopy. Typical Raman measurements need seconds or minutes to be completed, although for some examples with a very strong Raman signal, this can go down to 0.1 seconds or even faster. Let's conduct a thought experiment. If I want to measure area of 1 square millimeter with 100 nanometer step size for the best possible resolution and an extremely short exposure time of 10 milliseconds, I will need to measure 100 million points or 1 million seconds or 12 days. This is not practical at all. And keep in mind, this is based on the sample with very strong Raman signal. The speed of Raman imaging is ultimately limited by the nature of the sample rather than the Raman instrument. Therefore, most of the time, Raman imaging is acquired with a lower resolution or in a smaller area. In the next video, I will explain the sensitivity of the Raman spectroscopy and how to optimize that.